You know, ROTC provides a unique opportunity for balance, I think, in a student's life. And I think there's definitely something to be said for that. We have the military training, but they also have the opportunity to grow and develop as civilian students uh, while they're, you know, in the midst of the rest of the population. Don't have very many fears in life, but one of my greatest fears is that I will look back on my life and wonder what I did with it. And I don't have that problem now while I'm in ROTC and now that I'm going to be joining the Navy. I came into ROTC not knowing what, what to expect at all, and I was pleasantly surprised. I, I did not think I would like it, but I love it, and I can't even imagine my life without the Navy anymore. It's such a dynamic and interesting environment to work with, um, and just the opportunities that it affords in terms of the summer cruises, going home and you know, talking to a buddy who worked at a cubicle at IBM versus I was out on a sub or zooming around this guy's in an F-18. We offer them an opportunity to go to a university that they that may be out of state, that's far away, that they might not be able to afford otherwise, and to come into a place where they don't know anyone and they have an instant family. Naval Reserve Officers Training Corps, or NROTC, was established to develop midshipmen mentally, morally, and physically and to imbue them with the highest ideals of duty, loyalty, and Navy Marine Corps values of honor, courage, and commitment. The NROTC goal is to commission college graduates as Navy and Marine Corps officers who possess a basic professional background, are motivated toward careers in the Naval Service, and have a potential for future development in mind and character so as to assume the highest responsibilities of command, citizenship, and government. NROTC is a multi-year program that runs concurrently with a student's normal college or university educational course of study. A typical day for me uh, in ROTC at Notre Dame starts off uh, waking up and going to PT in the morning um, and then proceeding to kind of carry out the rest of my day, going to classes. Um, sometimes we have to go to drill and leadership labs. Uh, otherwise, it's, it's a regular day in a student, so going to classes, going to meetings, going to club activities, playing sports in the afternoon, pick up basketball. Um, and it's a beautiful blend between the ROTC commitment and a regular college student. With more than 165 colleges and universities to choose from throughout the country, NROTC offers a variety of college experiences from large state universities, private colleges, Ivy League schools, senior military colleges, or historically black colleges. After applying and being accepted to one of the NROTC-affiliated colleges and universities and separately applying for and being offered an NROTC scholarship, a midshipman's journey begins with new student orientation. Before arriving to an NROTC unit, midshipmen must ensure that they have completed a medical exam and can pass a Navy physical fitness assessment. These requirements will be in the Midshipman Scholarship Offer Letter. New student orientation will be unique to each college or university. All schools will welcome their newest students into the NROTC family by assisting the midshipmen to get acclimated to college and military life. Your unit commander will stress the importance of academics, as you must maintain a 2.5 GPA each semester to remain in good standing. The NROTC staff will work with you and give you some extremely helpful tips on how to succeed. Pretty much their entire day is scheduled for them. So when they get here, uh, they're in class typically about 15 to 20 hours a week. We also take some time where they're uh, doing some ROTC events as well. Staff members, including Navy officers, a Marine officer and senior enlisted Marine, as well as upper class midshipmen, will instruct you in drill, military protocol, and what to expect from the NROTC program. The staff will prepare you to succeed as a new midshipman during student orientation. When you report, you will be provided either a staff or midshipman mentor. Different units do mentoring in different ways. Some use staff to mentor, while others rely on informal mentoring based on relationships and assignments to squad, platoon, and company. You will find your mentor is an invaluable asset and also find that a battalion is an extension of your family. They are all there to help you succeed. You will work together as a team to ensure everyone in your unit succeeds. The program definitely built a sense of family. Um, I'm still my best friend now. I'm in her wedding. She was my roommate at ROTC orientation freshman year. Um, so all of those people I've become really close friends with, and I'll definitely stick, stick with those friends you know, throughout my career and throughout the rest of life, I hope. Um, so definitely a sense of family through the 
ROTC unit here, it helped my transition. As midshipmen move on from those first hectic days of college experience and settle in, they grow into the ordered life of college student and midshipman. In addition to a normal academic workload leading to a baccalaureate degree, NROTC students will attend classes in physics, calculus, and naval science, including leadership lab one day per week. During lab days, you will wear your uniform, not only to naval science lab, but to all of your classes. Throughout a midshipman's time in the NROTC unit, they will likewise participate in drill and physical training, while being educated in the leadership principles and high ideals of a military officer. But it is during summer break that you will get your first experience in the operational fleet. During each summer break between school years, NROTC scholarship students participate in a variety of training activities. These sessions help students understand various career options as well as military life. A significant portion of midshipmen's professional training during their four-year curriculum is received during summer training. Because during the summers, you go on these amazing trips that you never thought you in your life you'd be on. Like, I, I got to drive a sub, a nuclear submarine, as a 19-year-old just a uh, guy from Colorado. Navy summer training includes career orientation and training for midshipmen, better known as Quartramid, an enlisted experience, and a junior officer experience. During Quartramid, rising sophomores experience a week with the Marine Corps, a week with Naval Aviation, a week with the Surface Navy, and a week with the Submarine Force. Navy option midshipmen who decide to obligate and pursue a commission must ultimately make a decision as to which warfare area they will request to be commissioned into. Quartramid and the various summer training programs are designed to instill awareness of these areas and provide midshipmen with the background necessary to make informed decisions regarding their career choice. The warfare areas in which Navy option midshipmen will experience and make their choices from are as follows. Surface warfare, Naval aviator, Naval Flight Officer, Submarine Officer, Explosive Ordnance Disposal Officer, and Special Warfare Officer. For individuals who choose the Marine Corps option, midshipmen will participate in Naval Science classes with a Marine Corps focus and the same battalion activities as Navy option midshipmen, although the physical training requirements are more rigorous. Marine option midshipmen attend Quartermid as rising sophomores. Mountain warfare training or an enlisted experience aboard an amphibious ship as rising juniors, and in the third summer, spend six weeks attending Marine Officer Candidate School, or OCS, in Quantico, Virginia. Marine Corps midshipmen must pass OCS to receive a commission in the United States Marine Corps. After receiving a commission, all Marine officers will attend the basic school in Quantico, where they will receive their MOS. Navy or Marine option. With each successive year in the program, midshipmen will get increasingly more leadership opportunities to prepare them for becoming an officer. After successful completion of the NROTC program and graduation from a university, midshipmen earn a commission as an ensign in the United States Navy or as a second lieutenant in the United States Marine Corps. As family members gather to pin on your rank at the ceremony, and as you proceed out to give and receive your first salute to an enlisted person of your choice, graduation and commissioning is the capstone of your college career. The four years of school will have seemed to fly by, but you will already have a stack of memories gathered. You will have been transformed from a civilian to an officer in the United States Navy or Marine Corps in four action-packed years. If you are curious about becoming an officer in the United States Navy or United States Marine Corps and the option of receiving full college tuition and fees appeals to you, please talk with your local Navy or Marine recruiter today and ask about NROTC scholarship opportunities. You can start by accessing the website on your screen and it will assist you in going through the process. Yeah! Fly Navy, go Irish. I'm Wisconsin! Wisconsin. Boom!